Hi, welcome to Collie Biology. What we're going to be doing now is looking at the anatomy of the female reproductive system. Female reproductive system is centered around egg production. Egg is produced in the ovary. That's a paired structure. You have a right and a left ovary. Coming from the ovary is the tube that carries the egg to the uterus. That's the fallopian tubes. There's an alternate name for the fallopian tube. We also call that an oviduct. Ova means egg. Duct means tube. So oviduct means egg tube. So you have the ovaries, the oviduct. Both of those are going to lead into the uterus. Uterus is a very thick, muscular lined organ that's going to contain the offspring during development. That's essentially the womb. Coming off the base of the uterus is a structure we refer to as the cervix, cervical tissue. And then the cervix is going to open and expand during birth into the vagina. Vagina is the birth canal and that's the vaginal opening. Beneath the uterus is the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is separate in terms of anatomy from the female reproductive system, but we recognize its orientation to the system. And the tube that drains the urine from the urinary bladder is the urethra. One common thing that we see women complaining when they're pregnant, that they have to urinate, micturate more frequently or more urgently. Well, as the uterus expands and the offspring develops, it literally pushes down and creates pressure because of the anatomical placement of the bladder. Other orienting structures that we see in the female anatomy in cross-section, we have the pubis bone, one of the hip bones. We also recognize the large intestine, that's the rectum, and ultimately the anus, leading to the exterior portion of the digestive tract. We can look at an additional model of the female reproductive system from a different orientation, but the structures are essentially the same. The ovary, the ovary is held in position by a suspensory ligament. We don't need to worry too much about that, but that structure is holding the ovary in position. Ovary produces an egg. The egg is going to travel through the oviduct or the fallopian tube into the muscular uterus. The lining of the uterus, very inner tissue, is the endometrial tissue. That's the tissue that's lost in a cyclical basis. That's the tissue that's lost during menstruation. The base of the uterus is the cervix and the cervix leads to the vaginal canal, the vagina itself. The baby is going to pass from the uterus through the dilated cervix out of the body via the vaginal in a vaginal delivery. That's the female reproductive system.